Hello, it is time for our second question and answer video about our silkworms. And yesterday, Patricia and I went and collected a lot of extra silkworms. And so now I have a lot of silkworms of different sizes from a bunch of different magnolias in my house. And I'm gonna be giving those to families who don't have silkworms or don't have as many silkworms. So here's my question list. I had to put it higher up that it says, Silkworm questions up there. Here's our question mark. And I have some more questions, so I had to write them further down on the paper. Our first question is, why are the tiny dots silkworms make poop? Henry. And here's our question mark. So, Henry was also wondering if maybe the the tiny dots were eggs or baby moths or something and they're not they're not babies or eggs because silkworms when they're still caterpillars are too young to make eggs they're not ready to make babies yet um their bodies can't actually make babies yet they're going to go into their cocoon and their bodies are going to change Right? They change and they become moths, but other parts of their bodies change so that they're able to make eggs. They do not have the body parts to make eggs yet. So the tiny dots are not eggs because they can't make eggs. They are poop. And the poop is probably pretty small when the silkworms are small, but the poop gets bigger as the silkworms grow. And as they're eating more and more, they make more and more poop. And you know what? I was doing some research on silkworm poop and I looked up on my computer, I typed in silkworm poop because I was wondering if there was anything I could tell you about silkworm poop. I found out that there are some places that actually use silkworm poop for medicinal reasons. Medicinal, what is that word? What does it sound like? Medicinal. It's like medicine, right? It's something that they use to make their health better. Uh, so sometimes there are people who put silkworm poop in tea to make their tummies feel better or to make them feel healthier. And there are sometimes people who put silkworm poop in pillows because they think that sleeping on a pillow with silkworm poop inside will make them healthier. I don't think that we should try it because those silkworms that make the poop are in a factory and in that factory they make sure that all the leaves are perfectly clean um, and that there's nothing that could make anyone sick going into the silkworms so they're making sure that that the silkworm poop is safe we don't really know if our silkworm poop is safe so we're not going to try using it as medicine but it is pretty interesting to know that that is something that people do one thing that we can do with silkworm poop is we can use it to feed plants. It can be used as a fertilizer. That is something that you put in the soil of plants and it helps them grow more healthily. So we might not use it for our health, but we could use it for plant health. So if you have any plants and you wanna put some silkworm droppings in there, you could do that. Thank you for the question, Henry. I was really excited to do that research and find out something that I never knew, and now I do know. It is really fun to learn. Our next question says, why do I have to give my silkworms away? Question mark, Neil. Thanks for your question, Neil. That's right, Patricia and I collected some of your extra silkworms. And the reason for that is that even though the silkworms seem pretty small right now, they are going to grow and grow and grow until they're this big. And when they're that big, they eat a lot. And so having like 30, 40, 50 silkworms that are this big would be a lot to take care of. You would have to be collecting mulberry leaves all day. And you have so many other things to do all day. So we thought having fewer silkworms like having 10, 15, 20 would be better so that you can take care of them and make sure that they're getting all the food that they need. And then we can give the extra silkworms to people in our community who don't have any and who want to have them. 
so that we can all do the silkworm project together. Thank you for your question, Neil. And thanks to everybody who gave us silkworms yesterday. We were gonna find them some good homes. Um, and if you have any more questions about silkworms, please let me know and I will put them on my list. My list will keep growing. The bottom of the list, it's actually a roll of paper. So it can keep going on and on and on for as long as we have questions. We can keep on making the list longer and longer and longer and it will go up, up, up my wall. I hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.